mom, family members, friends, distinguished guests, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to celebrate this grand event with us. It's really a special occasion for us, and we're thrilled to have you here. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Tom Brokaw and his famous book, The Greatest Generation. And in that book, Tom says, I believe this is the greatest generation any society ever created. America's citizen heroes and heroines who came of age during the Great Depression and the Second World War and went on to build modern America. This generation was united not only by common purpose, but also by common values. Duty, honor, economy, courage, service, love of family, love of country, and above all, responsibility for oneself. My dad was a member of the greatest generation. My dad was an immigrant. He was an avid reader. He was a nonstop learner. My dad was a master mechanic. He was an expert welder. He was an expert electrician. He was an engineer. He was a deep sea diver similar to the movie Men of Honor, that was my dad. He was a hard worker. He was an IBEW union member till the day he died. He was an opportunist. He was a great risk taker. He was a positive thinker. He was a patent holder. My dad was a team player. He was a teacher. He was a leader. He was a great communicator. He was a survivor. He was a patriot. He was a philanthropist behind the scenes. He was a mentor. He was a client. He was a joint venture partner and a good one, right, Al? He was a director of a public company, Lorraine National Bank. He was a friend. He was a grandfather. He was a father. And he was a husband and soulmate, Mom. My dad was a lot to a lot of people. My dad was very passionate and fun, but at the same time, he was very strict and intense. He was fair, he was honest, he was loyal. He was very compassionate. I don't think you'd ever meet a more compassionate man. He was loving, he was happy, he was very successful, but he was also very lucky. He was innovative, he was focused, he was persistent, and my dad was very complex, but he was also very simple. My dad had class. Someone once said about class that class can walk with kings and keep its virtue and talk with crowds and keep the common touch. All of you that knew my dad knew that that was Patsy Campana. Leonardo da Vinci once said of simplicity, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. And that was my dad. General George Patton said of persistence, in case of doubt, push on just a little further and then just keep on pushing. And me and my brothers and my sister know about that, don't we? <laughs> Someone once said about luck, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Well, my dad was very lucky, but he was prepared when the opportunity came. Conrad Hilton said about success, success seems to be connected with action. Successful people keep moving. They make mistakes, and my dad made a lot of mistakes. But they don't quit, and he never quit. John D. Rockefeller on compassion. Giving is the secret of a healthy life. Not necessarily money, but whatever a man or a woman has of encouragement, sympathy, and understanding. My dad had compassion. Someone said about passion, if you love your work, you will never have to work a day in your life. My dad never worked a day in his life, but he sure got a lot done. Mr. Forbes said about business, any business arrangement that is not profitable in some way to the other fellow will in the end prove unprofitable to you. The bargain that yields mutual satisfaction is the only one that is apt to be repeated. Patsy C. Campana himself said quite often, don't be a big hog, be a little pig. Because big hogs get slaughtered and little pigs just keep eating. There's a lot of wisdom in that. 
on learning, which is very appropriate for today. The brain can be developed just the same as the muscle can be developed. If only one will take the pains to train the mind to work. Well, my dad trained his mind his entire life. On dealing with people, Theodore Roosevelt said, the most important ingredient in the formula of success is knowing how to get along with people. My dad certainly knew how to get along with people. My dad knew how to make people feel good. He was quick to say please, thank you. That was a first class job. I appreciate your effort. You earned and deserve this. Congratulations. Well, Dad, you earned and deserve this. Congratulations. Dad had help along the way from a lot of people. Many, many, many loyal employees. Many are here. Thank you so very much for all your dedication. Many dear friends, but most of all, Leo, Corey, Carl Fisher, Frank Provenza, Al Hilgas, great friends. A partner and friend in Al Hilgas, our out of town joint venture partner. Thank you. Our legal counsel, Dick and Rich Colella. Tim Tregilio, thank you very much. Lorraine National Bank, Mr. Piger, thank you for believing in my dad. At the beginning, it was Lorraine National Bank that stood stood tall with my dad, supported him, believed in him, nurtured him, and we appreciate very much what you've done. And mom, partner in marriage, partner in business. You're a great partner, mom. Dad always said that uh, my mom was the wind beneath his wings, and he knew that things were taken care of at home, and he could do his work with a clear mind, knowing that you were there anchoring the ship, mom. Thank you. Uh, in closing, I'd like to say that our family is supporting the scholarship initiative, the endowment for this engineering building. And I would encourage all of you to consider supporting it as well because this truly could be the turning point for Lorain County. It's, it's been a great honor working with Dr. Church, uh, assembling the cooperation, the money to pull this thing off. And now, with great young men like Caleb coming through the system, please consider supporting the endowment for scholarships. Lorain County kids need scholarship money. So I'll say to you that because of my dad's story, we as a family think it's just so appropriate that this building be named in his honor and that it be affiliated with education as well as development which is so exciting what Don Connectus and Goliath is doing. Where young people can be inspired by Patsy C. Campana and the other successful people of, of Lorain County. I believe that my dad is truly an example of an American dream come true. Thank you.